There are only three affiliated labs uh, to the Transportation Technology Center in the United States, and those three affiliated labs do essentially 90% of the out-of-house research. We are known as the go-to school for mechanics research. We're continuously faced with the challenge of lowering the cost of moving goods. How do you lower the cost of moving goods? Well, the obvious answer is make a bigger rail car. Put more goods on that rail car. Well, it turns out when you make a bigger rail car, you actually add more weight to the rails and the entire rail structure and you cause the rail structure to de de degrade and fail more rapidly. So there's, a, there's a, a cost associated with adding tonnage to the rails and what you're trying to do is you're find, trying to find that optimum amount of tonnage that gives you the least cost per mile of moving goods when you factor in the cost of repairing the railway structure. I reach out to various people within the Texas A&M University system who are experts at their particular area of research and I try to make them fit within the research challenges that the rail industry faces and then convince uh, TTCI and the Federal Railroad Authority that their expertise is needed to solve a particular problem that the rail industry faces today. I came out of Texas A&M in the early 1970s when computers were just sort of starting to hit the horizon as a useful tool. And throughout my career, I've been developing computational algorithms for solving all kinds of problems associated with the mechanics of solids, particularly solids that dissipate energy, primarily through crack growth, but also through things like corrosion. What you can do if you can develop a physics-based model for predicting those phenomena, then perhaps you can use that model to obviate the development of those problems. What I'm doing today may save lives may decrease costs within the next six months to a year. So I'm out there doing things that I think will change the world quicker. The driver, in my mind, for changes in the rail industry are driven by population density. The most advanced, highly dense population in the world is in Western Europe. And there they have an enormous uh, rail uh, infrastructure. The United States will go that way as our population increases, so we'll see the kind of traditional things that are here today, but we'll see a diversification of rail travel. Transportation is not going to be simply rail or auto or air. We're going to see the kind of diversification that includes all forms of transport in order to lower costs. So that's what TTI does. They help to reduce costs by using multiple modes of transportation and uh, the rail center is just one part of that.